everybody. Welcome. Just in time for our next 10 videos. Come on in. Let's go. Hello friends. Larry here and welcome for another episode of Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Today I'm going to do uh, notebooks. So the notebook I'm going to be reviewing is one of the uh, notebooks that uh, you've heard me uh, review on the channel and a lot of you have uh, expressed uh, feedback that you would love to see more and some of you have also mentioned to me by email that you bought some because you like the notebook and you wanted to see if there's other sizes and they have many more so Baron Fig graciously sent me some more notebooks so I can show you guys and with these notebooks there'll be giveaways. Isn't that cool? It's always fun to receive something free. So here's how it comes in the mail. Now there's a little damage. The envelope was torn when I received it and that wasn't done by the Baron Fig Company. Our mail system today has been very good and you can see down here with uh, a lot of the packages. This isn't the first time this has happened. Many times this has happened. So let me, uh, I've already got into it in the back. Let me take them out. And they send me a couple of them here. And the first one we're going to talk about is going to be the Baron Fig Vanguard, which is a rural notebook and has the soft cover. And let me talk a little bit about what this notebook has to offer, then I'll open it up and show you. It, uh, the Vanguard soft cover notebook. It's a light gray rule and it comes in a three pack. And you also can get a blank or dot grid depending what you like. And the binding, it's stitched on the back, as you can see. That always makes it a pleasure to work with, I think. Vanguard can handle whatever you throw at it, designed to be used and abused. So remember, whoever wins one of these, or if you buy one, don't worry about hurting it because you're not, they said. That's a cool thing, I'm thinking, so far. It's sounding good, right? Well, as we know, especially me, Baron Fig has really been an outstanding notebook, in my opinion. Three size pocket flagships. Also known as a small, medium, and large. Again, three sizes. Pocket, flagship, and plus. I left out that plus. Three sizes for all occasions in every task that your mind would like to think and you can just pick up your fountain pen or your ballpoint pen, gel pen, pencil, whatever you use and write your thoughts down. Write your stories down. Talk about your life. Talk about what you did today. Talk about events, things that happened. So, Because you may want to refer back in time at a certain page, certain date, time, year, and see what happened on that date. That's how I work mine. Quality lasting paper. Acid-free grain paper allows you to use all sorts of medium art your books safe from degradation. Smart dimensions for this notebook with intelligent adjustments to the size you can use one page with mere breathable and reusable space than loading a notebook. In other words, 
how you work your mind and with the paper, how you use your paper with your thoughts, and how you're going to break it down on the pages, if that makes any sense. It's a simple and beautiful notebook. Nothing on the outside, only the necessities. On the inside, simply essentials as the ultimate sophistication, and it, was, it really counts what's on the inside of a notebook, correct? Yeah, we like flashy notebooks, at least some of us do. I like a good notebook. I'd rather have a good notebook, quality notebook, than flashy myself. Ever involving the designs aren't set up in the store. And they're always listening to what you have to say and improving. So, that's what they get with your experience. You let them know. Send them an email. Give them a call. Let them know how you feel about their notebooks. If you think they need improvement, email them. Let them know. Well, this could use more of this or that or uh, this wasn't up to par. Whatever it is. And also tell them the good things about the notebook. They want your input, your feedback to always make their notebooks improve. And that's what it's all about. The consumer, we're the ones that buy the products. It's our money. So we want the best product, the best value for the buck, right? Next, I'll be showing you the Confident Blank Notebook. It's going to be a hard cover. So let me open up this set of three on the Vanguard Rule Notebooks and show you what it looks like, okay? All right, let me take off the cellophane wrap on it. Set that aside. Now let me show you, first of all, right here. You want to focus in on that. That wasn't Baron Figs doing. Like I said, you saw the envelope. It was ripped pretty bad, so it was tossed around extremely bad. And they probably got to the post office and then the truck. But the good thing is, it still held up to all that torture, right? So here's the, here's the notebooks, my friend. They're going to come in this, just like this, all three of them. So you want to take this off. And I hate to tear it, but I guess got it. Should have done that in the first place. And that's what they're going to come in. You get three. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. Three, baby. Rock and roll. You got them right here. Not just notebooks, but barren fig quality notebooks. Now let's open one of these babies up and see what we got going on here. And here's the inside and it's ruled. And there is ample enough space in here. And you can be creative, use your mind and use up the space however you want. If you just want to write completely up and down the page, cool. Or you can break it down in sections, columns, however fits you. And this book should lay flat, but like all books, you need to work out the paper in the book. And this is how I do mine. But I only do a few pages at a time, but I'm doing this on a quickie. And there it is. But I usually do it like this. I hold my notebook like that. Then I open it up. And 
and then I get a few pages at a time. Up and down the back of it. How many? I don't know. Four, five, six, ten. You can do more if you want. It's just going to take a little longer. So that's why I'm kind of rushing it because I don't want you to spend five hours watching me do this. So, it really is a nice notebook. And there you go. Works well. Nice and flat. And let me just look in the back for something here. The back is Baron Fig. Designed in New York City. Made in Taiwan. Vanguard Plus One. And then email or their site. You can always do BaronFig.com. Take you right there. And that's it. Well, I think the next thing to do do some writing on it. And I'll pull out my Lamy Safari with Lamy Blue ink. And I'll work on the back page real quick. See how the paper holds up to this ink. Remember, different nib sizes, different inks, different saturations. You have to allow all that. So, let's say if you do a, a different nib size, different ink. Remember, different saturations on paper. Different grades of paper. And this is uh, the fine, which is a pretty nice nib. So... I like the smoothness of the paper. It really feels nice when you put the nib to paper. It's really nice. Not witness on it. It was. So that's it. So let's see how the paper looks on the other side. There it is. It held up pretty well. Again, this is a wet, fine nib, Lamy, with Lamy ink. With different pens, different nibs, you might get some show through, maybe a little bleed through. And, you know, if you use the uh, Doodler's Bla uh, Bay State Blue, you'll probably get some uh, bleed through because that's some pretty uh, notorious ink, but my favorite ink. But you know what? I have it handy, so why don't we do it and give you first hand? But, you know, uh, remember, now this is a medium nib, and it's wet, and remember... Noodler's Bay State Blue. If you're not familiar with it, do the research. This is great ink, but it's a uh, pretty heavy stuff. One of my all-time favorite inks right here. Look at that saturation. You can see it. It's it's wet. I mean, watch. It's wet. Wet. And you'll probably have some bleed through. 
not on all papers, but, uh, you know, I've had it on uh, Rhodia, on some Rhodia and some Africa and some Life. This is really pleasant paper to write on. I enjoy this notebook. Now, we'll see how the paper held up on this one. Well, believe it or not, you had some minor bleed through, not bad. You had some show through, not bad. You're seeing it right there. It really held up pretty well. Let's try a gel pen with it. And this is one of my favorite gel pens. The Paper Mate Enjoy Gel 0.7 nib. Really a sweet gel pen. And this wet. This gel pen is wet. The Ink Joy. And here's the wetness on it. It's going to be wet, I can tell you now. You got some wetness. That's what I like to see in a gel pen. Now we'll see how the paper held up to the gel. And it held up just fine. You can see barely a little show through, barely, but that's you know, normal. And it did real well. Uh, I think I have another pen we can do if you like. Uh, I do have one here. Oh, and I've got the Noodlers Ahab with a regular Noodlers nib on it. Fine nib writes really well. And the ink is KWZ. I think menthol or something like that. I forgot. It's a different kind of green. It's a menthol or ink. But anyway, it's not green green. It's a blue, but it that's what I remember of it. It's a nice looking ink. It's a, uh, my, my color of ink. And let's check for the wetness on this pen. Paper and ink. Little wetness. There you go. Not a lot. Little. And we'll see how it handles the paper. Alright. Here we go. And look at here. You've got some bleed through. With this one. With this Ahab Fine. With the KWZ ink. Right there. And then, uh, what was the first one? Okay. And here's the first one. With the Lamy. Fine nib. And that's Lamy Blue. And, uh... This is the Noodlers. It's 
So there you have it. Number one, the Lamy Blue Ink with a Lamy Fine Nib, nice wet nib, and handle it very well. And then I came with the uh, Conklin All American Medium Nib Fountain Pen, and I used the Noodler's Bay State Blue. And it had a little bleed through, as you can see, not ridiculously bad. But I did have some bleed through here with the Noodler's Fine Nib with the KWZ ink, as you can see. Now that's weird. Uh, and uh, right here was another one I missed. Sorry about that. So, one, two, this should have been three right here with the paper mate gel pen. None to handle it well, so this was number four. One, two, three, nothing on the paper mate did real well on the gel and the gel pen is wet and then you see it with the KWZ with the All American this one on that one. So, but anyway, is this a worthy notebook? I think it is. Would I buy it? I surely will. Uh, it uh, really is just some nice smooth paper. And uh, how much is this notebook? You know, I forgot, but you get three, three of them. So I'm just going to roughly say maybe $18, maybe. Don't hold me to that. A little over five bucks, six, twelve, what, six bucks? About six bucks a notebook. So, all right, well, that's going to conclude this review and to show you about the Bear and Fig notebook. And then I'll be showing you on the next review the Bear and Fig Confidant blank paper. Comes in a nice box. Appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Be safe, my friends. Hit that subscribe button. Join Larry's Fountain Pen Army so we can spread the news about fountain pens, notebooks, papers, inks, and the whole nine yards. And don't forget, hit my like button because that really helps me out a lot on my YouTube ratings. So that's a big plus to help me, the little guy. And last but not least, please leave me your comments. They're very important, at least for me they are. I want to know how you guys feel. You're the ones that watch my reviews. You're the ones that have to decide, will I buy the product or not? It's your feelings, nobody else's. So I appreciate all your feedback on the notebooks. With that said, my friends, I bid you peace, love, take care of yourself, and please, don't text and drive. Later.